Hey, I'm Erica Ballard here, healthy living expert. And this week we're talking about something that you might never have heard of in your entire life. So that's why Erica is going to explain it to us, but it's metabolic flexibility. So for people, Erica, that have never heard about this phrase, what is it? So metabolic flexibility is essentially the state in which your body's able to burn your body fat for fuel or food for fuel. And it's really important because it's this state that allows us to burn fat effectively and lose weight quickly. Yet most diets never get us into this state, which is why it's so important that this kind of complicated phrase is brought to mainstream. Yeah, so how do we get there? <laughs> Sure. That's the question. And yeah. the way that you get there is you do a metabolic reset, which essentially means that you reset the biochemistry in your body. And you can do that in two ways. And I'll share the first one, which is an immediate reset. And so what that looks like is going all in for two to four weeks, eating a low carb, high fat diet. So it looks like doing, think about like a, a whole 30 or a ketogenic like diet for two to four weeks. The important caveat though, when you do this, is that you need to have a plan to get back to a model in which you eat 85% of the time real food. Otherwise, you're going to reset and then, you know, <laughs> not let, not have it work for you in the long run. <laughs> yeah, and the whole thing would fail. Uh, so yeah. and the second way is a little more gradual. Yeah, the second one is actually the gradual approach, which is what I do with my clients, because I find that it's a way to build habits in a way that feels easy, which makes health feel easy. And so the gradual approach looks like if you're eating real food 30% of the time, you go from 30 to 35, 35 to 40, 40 to 50, and so on until you get to the 85, 15 way of eating, which will reset you naturally. The downfall, of course, is that it takes longer, but I like to tell people if it takes six months or a year, maybe even two, that's a drop in the bucket for how long most of us have struggled with our weight. That is so true. Any final thoughts, Erica? Just if you're an all-in, all-out person, go the gradual route because... Because when you go all in, you really will fall victim to not building in that buffer. So it goes against everything in your nature, but really try to do the gradual and give yourself some grace during the process. Erica, thank you so much. We'll be right back.